Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to host a website using Hostinger, a platform that I find the most accessible and affordable, especially for those of you just starting out and don't want the technical hassle these platforms can come with. It's got three hosting options ranging from shared web hosting, cloud hosting, and VPS hosting, all accommodating different needs for the site that you're going to make. Whichever one you do choose, you'll also get three months of free use if you use the discount I've placed in the description for you, which also saves some extra change on the regular plans. So if you want to try it out, head over to the description. So when you buy your plan, the first thing you have to do is log into Hostinger, and once you're on the dashboard, head over to your websites tab up here. Then find the website in question and then click on manage and it's going to take you to the H panel for this particular site. However, there is a crucial thing that you need to know. If you made your website using the Hostinger AI Builder, then you won't be able to access this. So if you haven't made a website already, well, consider this a warning. You're going to have to make it with WordPress. And I have a tutorial for how to make a site through both methods that I will put in the description below. But the key thing to know right now is that if this page isn't popping up, then you haven't made your site in WordPress. Otherwise, you're going to see this. So just keep that in mind. Now, this screen is called the H panel, like I mentioned a moment ago. And it's the same thing as a C panel, just modern and optimized for hosting or making it more accessible. And what these panels are, if you don't know, is just a way for you to manage your websites, files, database, and a lot more from here. And so the H panel is a lot more uh, beginner friendly, which is why I really like it. But what I want you to do right now is install the content management system. And to do that, you go over to the left hand side where it says website, click there, and this drop down menu will appear and you click on the auto installer, at which point you'll be taken to this other page where you're going to find WordPress. Hit on select and it's going to ask you to input your credentials right here. Afterwards, click on next, then on the next page, you can go ahead and install it. I don't need to do this though since I already have it installed, but after this it will take a couple of minutes to download and then you'll be set. Afterwards, head back to the first tab titled the dashboard and then go to the right and click on admin panel because from here we will be able to access our website. And this is the WordPress dashboard where you can start customizing your site. Again, that tutorial will go into much more depth than I will here, but generally the key areas is the theme tab, your plugins such as Elementor, which is something I talk about, and when you do have your site ready, you will be spending quite a bit of time in your pages section, and it's quite beautiful once you master it, because right now this all seems confusing, but trust me, it gets easier. Next up, we want to set up our email, so let's head back to Hostinger, and then click on the email tab. With any hosting or plan, you get a free email to use, and while it is limited in capacity, it's still a place to start. And if you want an upgraded email, then you can click on Get New Email Plan in the top right to see some of the other options. But the process is still the same. You click on Setup, pick the domain, and then after a few seconds, it will be finished. Keep in mind though, you do need to purchase a domain to connect your email to your site, and I have a video on how to purchase a domain as well, so check the link in the description for that if you need it. Now let's go ahead and see what our website looks like. I haven't really done anything on it, but we're just going to see if it works. So we're going to go back to our websites, hit manage, and then go to the top, and we're going to copy the name right here. So you might have a .com, a .net, whatever it is, just copy this name, .whatever, paste it into the search bar and this is the site of course nothing is really on it this is just a wordpress generated site based on the limited info it has but we know it works nonetheless so that basically wraps up today's video guys if you have any more questions for me then don't hesitate to ask and if you want to get a head start on hosting or then make sure to use that discount in the description it's not going anywhere and if you did find the video helpful, then consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. At any rate, though, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And until then, take care.